guys, welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Hello, you guys. Good morning. Happy Monday. I know it's been a couple of days. You guys, I got so busy this past week. So my son's birthday is tomorrow. We randomly, my husband, so if y'all didn't know, he works in the refineries and his job has long hours. He randomly got a day off on Saturday. I was like recording a video and everything, but he randomly got a day off. So the day we just like woke up early took my son out for his birthday because my husband's going to be leaving out of town this week so the only day we could celebrate where my husband was able to was this past saturday so we had a super busy day i posted some pictures we went bowling we took him to eat it was super fun um yeah so i just been busy this past week and i haven't been able to like catch up with you guys i miss y'all um and i haven't been able to update y'all on my weight in this past tuesday i know i'm supposed to weigh in tomorrow again but let me update y'all and catch y'all up so i won't even lie i don't this past week when I weighed in, I felt super bloated and I know why. I don't know what's going on with my body, girl things. I have started my period twice this month. I just started again yesterday. So twice in one month, I don't know what's going on. My body's all over the place right now. Um, and I'm like, do I weigh in tomorrow? Because I never weigh in on my period for the month because you do go up in weight. So I don't know what to do. I'm probably just going to weigh in anyways. Um, but this past this past uh past tuesday when i did weigh in i did go up a pound was it two pounds i think two pounds but like i said when i did weigh in i already knew i was going to be up a little bit um because i felt it i know my body and you will always fluctuate in weight and i tell that to everybody your weight will always go up and down up and down up and down and it's not a bad thing it's just the way it is but my muscle mass did go up so i'll post some pictures my muscle mass did go up so i'm kind of like i'm gaining muscle and i know my my weight isn't gonna drop like it usually would so i'm glad my muscle mass did go up though so my muscle mass um i'm gaining muscle i'm in the gym and they say muscle weighs more than fat so i'm happy about that you guys i did go to the gym this morning i forgot to tell you i did go to the gym this morning i got in a good workout arm workout i showered and i'm about to get ready for the day but i just wanted to update y'all on my weigh-in this past tuesday like i said i'm fluctuating we'll see how it goes i'm still doing good um tomorrow's a weigh-in hopefully it's not hopefully i don't feel too bad in the morning i'll weigh in anyways but i usually don't weigh in around this time of the month i don't know what is going on with my body my body's been all over the place twice in one month that's never happened to me which is super weird so yeah i don't know what's going on but a little update you guys i know i've just been busy this past week but i plan to catch up this week my husband leaves out of town for work this thursday so um i was spending time with him we don't get to spend when we, we don't get to spend a lot of time together so when we get those chances we love to spend time together with the boys i'm glad we got to do something for my son's birthday this past saturday my son's turning six tomorrow it's during the week so we were like oh he has to go to school you know it's during a weekday maybe we can do it this weekend but then my husband's leaving out of town on thursday so thankfully he got this past saturday off this thursday my husband will be going to baton rouge for work he'll probably be gone like a month or so so sad but you already know if y'all been following me for a long time ray always leaves out of town for work he's kind of always all over the place so you know i'll stay busy hitting up the gym doing what i gotta do but that was my little weight in this past tuesday let me know how y'all are doing again your weight will always punctuate especially if you're working out but it makes me super happy that my muscle mass did go up so that just means i'm gaining muscle i'm in the gym doing what i gotta do super excited about that but let's go ahead and get ready for the day you guys um like I said, I went to the gym. Um, I got a couple of things to do today. So I'm just going to take y'all along my day on eating. I haven't ate nothing. I have been fasting. I've only drank water. Um, so yeah, I got to go. Since my son's birthday is tomorrow, I did go buy him some gifts over the weekend. But I want to get him like two more gifts. So I'm going to head to the store. Do that. Do I got to pick up like his cake and cupcakes for school tomorrow. Um, so I'm just going to be out and about. I have my niece here. Well, she's not my niece. She is my husband's niece. She's here. She spent the night. So she's going to be going with me to the store. We're just going to have a little day out and we have a good day of eating dry skin cream because my skin is dry. This weather it has been so cold here in Houston is driving me insane. Okay. Hot code, hot code messing me up, but I want to go ahead do my makeup get dressed 
and I'll see y'all here shortly and we will have some breakfast before we leave. All right, guys, so I'm almost done getting ready. And if y'all notice, I wear a lot of hair pieces. Like I wear long ponytail extensions. Like I absolutely love it when I want to change up my hair. And I recently got this one in yesterday. <laughs> they're bangs okay i always love bangs but i never want to cut my bangs because you immediately regret it so i found these clipping bangs and they look so good so we're gonna see how they go i don't know how to i mean i know how to hopefully this is like the best way to hide it so all it is is like a little clip in and they have different colors so it goes like this and you just like lay it on there god you guys doesn't that look so good <laughs> that looks so good it looks so real i kind of like hit it on top like, I just put it right here. I put my regular hair and I, like, blended it in. <gasps> I'm obsessed. Yeah! Now I can have bangs without cutting my bangs. I absolutely love it. I haven't had bangs in forever. <gasps> Doesn't it look so cute? I really like this. It, like, gives me a different look, too. Like, without me actually having to cut my hair. I don't know if you could straighten the bangs because I don't think it's like real hair. But that looks so good. Okay, so I'll go ahead and link all my hair pieces in the description below on my Amazon storefront. Because I have several hair pieces and I actually have another one, like two more coming in. And they're super cheap, you guys. And they have tons of different colors um, so you can blend your hair really well. But I absolutely love it. That is so cute really good purchase i think it was like 15 dollars. i think probably less i don't even know but super cute all right guys i am ready i'm getting so many compliments on these bangs thank y'all so much you see how easy it is just to change up your look your look with just a clip in like i am really feeling these bangs. i absolutely love them but since i gotta go head out and do some things let's go ahead and make a quick breakfast i'm just gonna make an egg, egg white scramble with some turkey bacon that i had the other day super simple gets us out the door, fills us up. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for breakfast, this is what I have out. So I go in with, lately I've been going in with egg whites. I need to buy some more, but I go in with egg whites and then I also go in with one regular egg and it just makes it more like filling, gives it that little balance. So I like to go in with both. To my eggs, I'm gonna add some chopped tomato since I have it in the fridge and some cilantro. We're gonna have some avocado on the side and then we'll go ahead and cook up some turkey bacon. Ugh. I can't open it, but turkey bacon. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking up two slices of my turkey bacon and just get this nice and crispy. And then we'll start on our eggs. I can't go to the store hungry because then I give in to stuff. I wanna like grab stuff and snack, so I like to eat before I head out to the store. Okay, in another pan, let's cook up our eggs. So I'm gonna go in with some Kerrygold butter, the best butter ever. I'm just going in with a little bit to help mix my eggs. I went ahead and diced a little tomato just to cook in the butter first. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some egg whites. I don't have much left. Okay, about that much. And then I go ahead and mix in one regular egg. I'm gonna season with some salt and pepper. And then I also like to add some red chili flakes here in a minute. A little salt, a little pepper. Oh my God, a lot of pepper. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go ahead and scramble this up. I like to cook my eggs low and slow. I hate when eggs get like those crispy, or like scrambled eggs when they get all like crispy on the edges. I hate that. So I cook it real low. Okay, my turkey bacon is getting crispy. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. We're gonna go ahead and add in a little chopped cilantro. I've been loving like making some egg white scrambles because I made it last week too and it just makes for an easy breakfast. You could add all kinds of different things to your eggs that are keto approved. Make a little scramble. Okay, I'm going to add some red chili flakes because I love a little spice and I don't know, I just like red chili flakes on eggs now. It's just so good. I 
All right, eggs are nice and scrambled. We're about to finish, uh, wait for our turkey bacon and we'll serve it right up. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and serve up our breakfast. Don't pay attention to this cake over here. I made a cake for my kids. Don't look at it. Okay. Turkey bacon. And I made this breakfast literally in like 10 minutes so we can get out the door and it's super filling. We have our egg whites, our egg white scramble. And then I had half an avocado in the fridge that I'm going to go ahead and add. I don't know. This is a huge avocado. I'm probably just going to do half of this. I'm going to add a little salt to my avocado. And then I'm going to add a little bit more red chili flakes. All right, you guys. And here is breakfast. We got some turkey bacon, egg white scramble, and avocado for some extra fats. You guys, you do not have to eat turkey bacon. I'm just trying to lean stuff out. You know, I've been on my journey so long. I don't have to add the extra fat sometimes. Of course, I added some avocado because it's filling. Add fats. It fills you up more and it gets you in ketosis faster. But I'm just trying to lean stuff out where I can. I'm trying to cut back on dairy a little bit. You know, just trying to do that. I've been keeping y'all updated with that. Um, so... I'm just making some changes a little bit and I really like egg whites. You season them well, you add some stuff to fill it up. It's really, really good. I'm also just going to go ahead and go in with some water, but I'm going to eat breakfast and then we'll head out in a bit. All right, guys, so we just got to Target. I'm going to get this for my son for one of his birthday's gifts because he's getting into wrestling. So I'm going to get that and then I'm also going to get him a little John Cena character. I did pick up a t-shirt. This one's for my niece, but I picked up a t-shirt and I picked up like a plain orange t-shirt as well to match one of my Nike shoes. All right, guys, we came to Walmart. I got the other gifts from Target. I got a yellow table cover because the colors that he's choosing. I got this powder puff that I needed. I'm going to get him this little button to wear to school tomorrow. It says it's my birthday. And I think I'm going to get them this little happy birthday banner sign. I'm going to get him a little number six candle. I also got these blue plates. Now, I know these colors look weird, but there is a YouTuber called Lanky Box, and that's what he mostly watches, and that's the colors that he wanted. So it's like this blue, a yellow, and a purple. I know. <laughs> okay, we're at HEB. We're picking up the cupcakes for school. I gotta go drop them off. They came out really good. I love the colors. And we got the cake. My son said he wanted blue and purple. Guys, so I was just putting up some stuff real quick and I'm gonna go ahead and have a snack before I go pick up my kids from school I have these two good yogurts on hand and these are the ones I picked up last week for my grocery haul and they don't have any hidden sugars So that's really good. They don't have any um What's it called? Circulose or yeah, something like that. Circulose? Yeah, they don't have any circulose in them So I've been really enjoying these and they have different flavors. I went ahead and got the vanilla flavor so I'm just going to go ahead and have this before I go pick up my boys. I'm going to add some stuff to it. You could just have it like this, but I like to add stuff. So, Sola granola. It's just a mix of some um, nuts and stuff just to add a little texture. And then I like to go in with some chia seeds. I just add like a little spoonful on top. These are great for overnight oats. The... Um, the chia seeds I love these and then I'm just gonna add a little fresh berries on top just a couple like five or you can do strawberries or blueberries and that's it this will be my little midday snack I gotta go pick up my boys and then later on we'll have some dinner all right guys I'm making my kids dinner and I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my dinner my dinner's gonna be super simple um, and very easy tonight I'm gonna pop this in my air fryer oven so I'm just going to make some salmon tonight with some broccoli, keep it very light and simple. I'm going to go ahead and season my salmon before we put it in the air fryer. Okay, I have my salmon right here. I'm going to go in with this keto blend spray. It's just like a mix of olive oil and avocado oil. Sorry if the kids are kind of loud, you guys are playing hide and seek. Then I'm going to go ahead and season. I'm going to go in with some Dano seasoning because I love this stuff. And then just a little sea salt and some pepper and that's it you guys I'm just gonna go ahead and get a nice sear on this or like a air fry 
kind of thing. What does it does? It broils it. I'm gonna pop it in there and then we'll make our side. All right, guys, so my salmon is almost done in my air fryer for an easy side. I'm just gonna go in with some warm up broccoli, but I'm gonna saute it in the pan after and add some seasoning. So I'm just gonna warm it through for about three minutes in the pan first, and then we'll put it in some butter. Say hi, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Say my birthday's tomorrow. My birthday's tomorrow. How old are you gonna be? Six. Six? You're not a little baby no more? Mm -hmm. Mama has to have another baby? <laughs> Okay, my broccoli is almost done in the microwave. I'm gonna go ahead and melt down some butter. I just didn't want some plain broccoli on the side, so we're gonna give it a little flavor instead of just some salt and pepper. I'm gonna melt down some Kerrygold again. You guys, we're still dog sitting. Sasha, say hi, Sasha. Turn, turn, sit. Oh, good job, Sasha. <laughs> She's waiting for, for her treat. She's like, where's my treat? All right, while my butter is melting, we're gonna add in our broccoli. And I hate when my broccoli is like soggy, so I'm just gonna kind of cut some of that out. Okay, I'm gonna give this a few minutes and then we'll season. And my salmon is nice and grilled. I'm gonna take it out here in a minute. I'm just keeping it warm. All right, guys, so I got a nice little sear on my broccoli. I'm gonna go ahead and season with some pepper and some salt to taste, of course. We're gonna go ahead and add a little garlic powder. You could add some minced garlic, but I didn't have that on hand. And then I guess I'm on a red chili flake kick today. I'm gonna add some red chili flakes. gonna give it a nice toss and turn off my heat and let's serve up our dinner you guys like I said something very simple and light for dinner tonight because I've been feeling a little on the bloated edge all right my salmon's done I am going to cut this in half and save some leftovers all right guys let's go ahead and serve up dinner sorry if y'all hear any background noise we got some TV on but we're gonna go in with our broccoli our piece of grilled salmon and then to add a little extra fat, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the other half of that avocado from this morning. So it doesn't go bad either. All right, guys, and here is our easy peasy dinner for tonight. Just some grilled salmon, some broccoli, definitely change up your veggies. You could add some cheese. But remember, I'm trying to cut back on a little bit of dairy. You can add some bacon bits, some sour cream just to load it up a bit. But something very simple, and I hope you all enjoy. For my drink, I'm going to go in with some water, but I'm going to add a little of the stir liquid drops for tonight. Because with dinner, usually I like to add a little something something to my drinks. This is the black cherry flavor. It's so good. All right, let's go ahead and dig in real quick. I like to take a little avocado. Mix it with my salmon. Mm. Mm. This is definitely going to hit the spot for me. up. I, I was going to do some fried cauliflower rice, but... This is gonna fill me right up. You could do some fried cauliflower rice, like add some Asian seasonings to it, a little like chopped um, carrots, and make add like a little scrambled egg, and that'll be super good as a side as well. I'm gonna go ahead, sit down, and enjoy my last meal of the day. All right, guys, I ate dinner, filled me right up. Don't forget to do the daily check in. I know I've been a little off track this past week, but I promise I'm trying. I'm trying to do everyday check ins. I just get super busy. Time flies by, so I apologize if I skip a day. But usually I'll do two check ins in one day. But make sure y'all check in around 7:30 Central for the challenge, you guys. Please keep be on track. Um, Keep posting what y'all eat for dinner. Keep giving people ideas. I really appreciate it. But I'm about to call it a night. I laid down for a little bit with my husband. We were watching that 90s show on Netflix. Just like the 70s show, but the new one. It's super good. It's super funny. Y'all definitely give it a watch if y'all haven't already. Super good show. But I'm about to call it a night. I hope y'all enjoyed this quick and easy day of eating. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see y'all in the next one. I think I'm going to go ahead and wait in tomorrow. But we'll see because it's that time of the month. So we'll see how it goes. But I'll keep y'all updated. And y'all have a great night.